Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to look at how we go about setting up our lab environment for the Capture the Flag exercise, SQL Injection to Shell. For this Capture the Flag exercise, we will need an installation of VirtualBox, one virtual install of Kali Linux, and one virtual install of the ISO image for from SQL Injection to Shell. The first thing we will need to do is download the ISO image from Volan Hub. So I'm on the page right now for the Capture the Flag exercise that is located on Volan Hub. And if I scroll down here, you'll see underneath the download sections, I have a number of different mirrors that I can use to download this ISO image. My recommendation is to use the mirror that is associated with the VolanHub.com site. This will easily get you the ISO image that you need to set up this lab. The link for this download is available inside of the lab file for this particular CTF. Now once we have the ISO image downloaded for this CTF, we're going to open up our virtual box, we're going to go to machine, and we're going to go to new. On this first screen of the create a virtual machine wizard, give your virtual machine a user friendly name, Select the download location or the save location for the machine folder. For the type, pull down Linux, and for the version, I've chosen Ubuntu 64-bit version, but there's other versions that will work. Accept the default for Create a Virtual Disk Now, and then just click the Create button. On this next page, just accept the default and click the Create. Now that we have the virtual disk for this CTF created, we have to import that ISO image to begin the installation. To do this, I'm just going to double click the new virtual machine that I have over inside of my left window pane, and that's going to begin the install process. On this next screen, just click on the folder icon located in the lower right of the screen, and on this next screen, you're going to click on the Add button. From here, you're going to browse on over to where you saved that downloaded ISO image. When you find the downloaded ISO image, just double click it. On this next screen, just click Choose. And finally, just click the Start button. This is a self-loading ISO image. There's nothing for you to install or to agree to. Once it's installed, you'll be given the prompt. Once it installs, you'll be shown the terminal prompt for this CTF image. Now the next thing we need to do is go up here to Devices. And we're going to click on Network. We're going to go to Network Settings. Where it says Attach to, pull down this window and from the options select NAT Network. Click OK. And you're going to want to do the same for your Kali installation. With my Kali up and running, I'm just going to go up here to Devices from the taskbar. I'm going to click on Network. I'm going to go to Network Settings, and I'm going to ensure that my network is attached to a NAT network. Just click OK to that. I now have my Kali and my CTF target up and running. At the prompt for my CTF target, I'm just going to type in ifconfig and hit Enter. And this is going to show me the IP address assigned to my Ethernet 0 for this particular image. You can go ahead and minimize. Let's open up a terminal inside of our Kali. And let's type in ifconfig. This is going to show me the IP address for my Ethernet 0 up inside of my attack machine or my installation of Kali. Remember both IP addresses as you will need them to successfully complete this CTF. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about configuring our lab environment for the Capture the Flag exercise SQL Injection to Shell. Got any questions? Have any concerns? Please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. And I'll see you in the next video.